Yeah, I know that feeling, bud. Hello everyone, Bonnie the Gamer Bunny here, and it's been a while since I've said that intro, but I am back with gameplay. It's been a while, but I'm back and I just alt-tabbed. But here we are. I have nothing scripted or planned, so what I'm doing is just me speaking my mind. But welcome to GMT. Uh, Gary's Mod Twister, G Mod Twister, whatever you want to call it. Tornado map made by Star Screamtron. It's been made. Oh god, we already have an EAS. But this map's been like five years in the making or something like that, so this is. got some hype to it. I've already played it too much, and I'm already in love with it, so. we're just gonna jump right into it. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until oh. 3 p.m. Well, Central never mind, then that's not even a tornado warning, it's a, th it's a thunderstorm warning. Although, considering that, I am going to get into the gas station now. <laughs> and that the rain's picking up, so yeah, it's already here. Hmm, that's funny. Uh, yeah, but there's hailstorms in this map that will spawn in randomly severe thunderstorms, and if you go out, you start taking damage. And actually, I'm going to put on... I'm going to put on a helmet, quote. So that way, I'm not really getting hurt by it. But uh, we're just going to see until a tornado happens, and then we'll g jump right into the chase. So here's the gas station. We got... Mr. Poor Man right here. Um, <laughs> he actually looked like someone falling down from the counter. Uh, we got computers. We got checkouts. We got that. Whatever that is. Um, we got cameras. The cameras in a couple of the buildings in the map. Where in the spawn room you can see on a little monitor. Um, if I click in my car here, then I'll stop taking damage. But yeah, it just seems to be, uh, hailing a bit. Got some errors over there. Although, I don't think those are pretty much a problem. Okay, I'm gonna risk my life just to attach this freaking janky 80s radio to my car. I'm gonna do it bit to the side because the top collision on this is not right. There we go. So let's go uh, have a little tour around the map, shall we? It is the first episode of hopefully a couple. Nice, just swerved at my car. So here's the main big barn. Looks pretty, looks pretty big. Um, we can go into here, and then we've got the inside. Pretty big, actually. I, how many times am I going to call this barn big? But, uh, yeah. Looks like a twister barn. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is actually based off the one in the movie. I could be wrong, though. Um, we've got these wooden pillars here that look really weird because I'm using map retexture to cover up the missing textures I have because I don't have all the content needed for the map. I don't have CSGO installed right now, so there are some missing textures. But uh, me putting this old wood texture seems to fit in with most of where the missing textures are, so. Open up the giant doors. I would put my car in there, but there's not enough space, and why would you do that anyways? A storm shelter over here. The only one in the map. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Small little shelter here. Alright. Should probably sit near the car where the other uh, radio is. Don't want to miss a tornado warning. That'd be bad for me. Got a little bit of a bridge right here going over the river. Oh, there we go. Probably a tornado warning. If we got two severe thunderstorms in a row, that would be kind of wicked. Got a thunderbolt right there from Minecraft. Um, got a little warehouse right here with some tractors over there. Actually, hold on, I want to hear 
The National Weather Service at Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm. Oh, it's another severe thunderstorm. Wow. What is that sound? Oh, it's the hell. Wait, that sounds different. Do they have different stages of hell? Because I don't remember there being different stages of hell. And I'm not taking damage. And there's a lot of hail, holy crap. Alright, so they may have actually more than one type of miscellaneous storm particle or event. Because we had the hailstorm earlier that was actually making me take damage and sounded a lot more like heavy rain than it did hail. And then there's this, which just sounds more like hail. There's a lot more hail in the particle, it seems. I'm not taking damage. Interesting. So here's the uh, the warehouse. Not much in here, just boxes and other things you'd expect in a warehouse and this wood texture. Got a couple of for dead cars out here that will hopefully get sucked away beautifully when a tornado comes up. I'm going to try and speed run this uh, map tour because I don't want to have a tornado show up while I'm in the middle of doing that. Uh, here's the farmstead. We got a little farmhouse and barn over here. Smaller barn. In here it's actually, I'm pretty sure this is all textured. This is not, this is mapper texture, so that's good. But it's a bit smaller, got a couple hay bales here and there, and some ledges that you can't get to. All that fun stuff. Thunderstorm has passed. Here we got the farmhouse with what would be a major gaming setup right here, and I'm not lying. Nice kitchen here with the best table I've ever seen. Got a random mug on a table that doesn't move or break. <laughs> I don't know what this room's supposed to be because this is an error, but oh well. I should install a remove error add-on that just gets rid of errors so that way they're just out of the way because they're kind of annoying. Um, bathroom. It's bland, but that's what bathrooms are. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the farmhouse. Looks really nice. Got a little lawn chair on the front, and some supplies over the side here. And some silos. Got another thunderbolt right there. Alright, going down this road and over here, we'll go right onto the weather station. Got a little hay bale field over there. Just stop right here. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Got the American flag right there. It's supposed to be making noise, but I don't hear it right now, so... Got the National Weather Service right here, with their giant radar right there. Got the front desk right here. Come over here, you'll get the main area. Oh, on time. We are here during probably a tornado. If it's the third thunderstorm warning we get. But I uh, here you got a little radar screen right here showing the uh, Kingfisher area. And a whole bunch of computers on air desks. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a tornado watch effective on the Okay, tornado watch. Time for plane, Canadian, and that probably means it's gonna be a really weak tornado, because I know that the EASs they have multiple audio according to what the tornado is going to be. So here's we got the server room. Some nice lighting in here. Sirens are not going off. And in here we got washrooms, washrooms, and a break room here, which looks all really cool, but I gotta go because the tornado is about to spawn. And if you look over there, the thunderbolts are actually moving. So you actually rotate, which is really cool. And the sound that you're hearing from the siren is actually emitting from the nearest siren to you. So if I get really far away from it, it's going to get a bit quieter. Because that is actually kind of loud for me. So just pull up to the gas station here and wait for this thing to drop down. There we go. 
So, yep, this map is uh, set in Kingfisher, one of the towns in Oklahoma and from Twister. Oh, there it is. The map is set in, like, you know, the 90s, like Twister, so I'm, you know, using one of those vehicles. Alright, tornadoes on the ground. Looks to be a very white cone, not touching the ground all the way, and just shifted downwards? That was odd. Can't see too much. Yeah, it's not touching the ground all the way, so it's definitely a very weak tornado. Um, the damage in this map is actually pretty realistic in comparison to what GMSC maps would do. So, I can only assume that that's a very weak tornado, mainly because it's not touching the ground and there's not much debris in it. So, if that's an F0, then it's probably not going to do too much damage to the buildings. And there are some tornadoes in this map where their size is very deceiving in comparison to their damage. Like, I've had a very, very small little needle uh, type tornado, like a rope tornado, and it hit a building and it did like F4 damage, while others would do around F0 to F1 damage. So we got this really nice looking tornado right here going across the fields. Not hurting us a uh, thing. The hay bales are... I don't know if they're getting sucked up or not. I don't see any. I saw an update note on the add-on page stating something about the hay bales being frozen. So I don't know if, that was, if the map was updated so the way the hay bales were frozen or if... It was like a bug that was supposed to get fixed. Uh, that's actually getting pretty close, so I'm gonna back up here. Nope, and tornado lifted. All right, pretty tame. That was our first tornado of the episode and of the series. Well, wasn't very long lived that one though. And uh, in a future tornado, maybe in this episode, we'll try and get. I had to get a little probe in it. It's not going to be Dorothy because I don't have any good Dorothy models, but... Nice little... I guess you could say it's an Easter egg. The, a little nod to Twisters over here. If I go over here and then pull into this ditch, you might already be thinking of the one scene where they're going through the ditch and they can't get out of it. And then again to some deep watery mud and then they crash into the bridge BAM and then Bill and Joe in the movie were forced to hide under it while the F1 roared above them and tore up some planks but they ended up being fine you haven't got the tractor right here <laughs> but yeah it's pretty nice now we are just waiting for a tornado to happen Speaking of which... The National Weather Service Department Aww. has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective... Oh, got another hailstorm coming in. Canadian, Kingfisher, Oklahoma, Logan and Lincoln County. Alright. Gonna ride this out, I guess. Got baseball, the golf ball size hail pouring outside. Still gonna wait for a tornado. If a tornado doesn't happen soonish, then I'll just uh, summon it because I'm God. So yeah, this map has been in development for a really long time. Mostly the particles is what took up a lot of the time because there's over. I think there's right now in the add-on there's 34 different particles in for each tornado. Or no, 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 no. no. If there was 34 particles for each tornado, that would be insane, but no, there isn't. Um, there's just 34 particles in to total. Um, you got a good few for each Fujita type, I guess. We got only this map right now, although in the future, I don't know if it's going to be the near future. I doubt it's the near future, but in the future, we're going to get more maps like GMT Prairie. 
or a flat grass map or a night variation of these or these this map but yeah i got the cinematic camera right now just so we can get even more realism in here get some nice fov shots um okay i was about to say i'm going to spawn in a tornado with the console but looks like the map knew i was going to do that and decided to do it itself i'll pull over right here the National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning of... Oh my god, you know what? <laughs> this is... This supercell is the most non-tornadic supercell I've seen. And that's like, I guess that's funny, is that you could go so long without a tornado because you're going to get just hail instead. Alright, that EIS is over. I'm going to press the key that spawns or triggers the tornado process, so... There we go. That's if it's still binded, which it should be. Yep. Was. Alright, this is this is going to be a tornado. Alright, let's uh have a listen as to what it's gonna say here. The National Weather Service at Norman has issued a tornado warning effective until yep. 1 p.m. Central Central Standard Time for Canadian and Kingfisher. At 11.34 a.m. Doppler radar detected a storm that has already reduced several tornadoes two miles southwest of Orange. Alright, we got miles per hour. tornadic supercell that's already spun in a couple of tornadoes apparently in the surrounding area. The sirens are going off. Watching the skies. Hell's gone. You can see the clouds are rolling in, so and that very obvious skybox edge there. Don't see a wall cloud or funnel or any blowing of any kind. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can't zoom out anymore. I don't hear it right now, so I think I'm good. Okay, never mind. That is not that is not a safe position. That is not a safe position. There we go. Oh, power flashes. Back up. Back up. Power lines are going down. And that is crossing right in front of us. Look at that. I don't know if I've seen this tornado yet. I, maybe I have? I can't hard to tell with the color mod on right now, but there it is. It's got messy freaking debris cloud and stretching all the way up the funnel. Probably F1. Again, you can't really assume because, you know, stars pulled some cheeky, cheeky shit on me. Oh. My, if if this is not a severe thunderstorm, we're gonna have two tornadoes, or at least tornado or two tornadoes back to back. Okay, no, it's probably a severe thunderstorm. Yeah. Look at that, it's tearing up trees, going towards that barn. Actually, holy crap! There goes the barn. Taking off the roof of the barn. There it goes. I'm getting hurt by this hail bad. And that's actually getting pretty close. Power flashes. There goes that power to that power line. It's heading towards the weather station now. I'm having a hard time seeing it because of the debris and the freaking rain shafts. We're gonna take the roof off the weather station. Here it goes. Cars are flying everywhere and it's gone. Tornado is lifted back up in the sky. And the hail is mostly gone. Alright, well that was actually a bit more eventful than the last one. Let's go examine the damage and rate it. 
Okay, right, we got power lines down, trees are down. And the gas station did not get... It didn't get hit too badly, but it's not in good shape. Some of the roof's still standing, so I'd say... Yeah, I'd say around EF1, maybe... Did I just say EF1? I said F1. F1, around F1 or F2, near that range. Windows are shattered. Whatever this thing is, is still here. Oh, and my guy! <laughs> it took the dude! He was right here. Now I wonder where he went. <laughs> Alright. Moving on, I don't think it touched the warehouse. I'll have a quick look at it as we drive by. I just blew red light, do not notice that. Um, yeah, the warehouse looks like it's untouched. I'm gonna go to this barn now. Alright, our second tornado. Seems to be a bit stronger than the last one, so we're ramping up, it seems. Alright, we got some debris here. Some form of roof. Probably from the barn, I would assume. Yeah, this is not too happy. Yeah, we got a bit of roof chunks missing. Most of them have just fallen down. The windows are shattered. Got some... Got a bit of wall damage over there. Considering this is a barn, I'm not too surprised. So yeah, I'd say this is also... Maybe uh, F2. F2, F1. You know, around that range. Head back to the car, and then we'll check out what it did to the weather station. It wasn't on it for long, but still collapsed something. Alrighty, let's go see what happened here. The parking lot, all the cars over there are now over in the field or the river. And the weather station's not looking too good. The sign's gone. Flagpole's still here. Windows shattered. Door's still here. Got a bit of wall damage right there. Got some inner roof damage right here, outer roof damage over there. Yeah, a bit of collapsed roofing right here. I can't get in there. Let's go over here. Uh, server room? Server room seems fine. Power is out though. Got more roof damage over here. And that seems to mostly be it. So yeah, just it's just roof damage that this is this tornado did. With some minor wall damage, I'd say I'd say F2. I was running F2. Didn't touch the farmstead or the warehouse. It would be cool if those power lines did damage you if you got too close to them, but oh well. I guess that's a bit too complex. And I'm sorry, what? Fellas, we've got an a tornado that is not warned at all. The sirens didn't go off, radio didn't go off, power lines are already going down. Very straight, very good looking. Oh my, I just, yep, it's hitting the warehouse right now. There's a trailer inside of it. Alright, you know what, this tornado seems a bit stronger, let's try and get a probe in it. To go all the way. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sit right here because it could go over to the gas station. It's either gonna cut across the field and go over here to the gas station, or it's gonna go all the way to the barn. It looks like it's gonna do the barn. Oh, right alongside it. Yeah, it's gonna go for that barn. Alright, let's go. No, it's deciding other plans. Going right over to this road. So I'm gonna go to the, the weather station. It's gonna hit the weather station. Ooh, I can just barely hear it. Alright, let's go over here. Stop her right here. Duplicator, that's not the duplicator, crap. 
duplicator, bam. Make sure it's anchored right. Wow, look at those cars. It's just flinging cars like toys, and it's in the air. <laughs> Saw the trailer inside of it. And the boxes from the warehouse. Alright. That was a really short-lived tornado, but a bit stronger. Oh, and this wasn't even anchored, so that wouldn't have worked anyways. Alright, uh, I guess we can go scale the damage of that. We got... The most we got from the weather station is just throwing cars, so... Probably EF2, EF3, I can already guess just by that. And I see that the warehouse is not looking too good. Alright, I think we're going to do one more tornado and then we're going to cut it off. Because I do not want too long of a video. Because uploading those is a nightmare. But yeah, here's the warehouse. Got some top wall damage. Yeah, we got a lot of wall damage. And the, all, the entire roof's gone. So that's definitely EF3. Probably F1. Probably EF2, EF3. I can already guess just by that. Uh, I keep calling it, yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna give up trying to just name it by the normal Fujita scale, because I'm just too used to saying EF at this point. But, uh, yeah, we got an EF3 right here, got a lot of roof damage with some wall damage, and a bit of major wall damage over here, and I feel, you know, it may, maybe it could have been an EF2 if this was, like, a weak, weak structure, but I have no idea if a warehouse falls into that category or not. Got a Thunderbolt right there. Um, I guess we could just go to the farmstead and wait out there, because everything else is in ruins. <laughs> and I will be playing with my friends later on, or with maybe random people, because I know that there are quite a few people in the Discord server for this uh, series. Oh. Uh, Alright, the TV is on, but... No audio is coming through, and my radio didn't turn on, so... Maybe that's a bug, maybe that's because the weather station got hit, I have no idea. But uh, as I was saying, yeah, there are quite a few people on the Discord server for this, uh, this group that are usually active for multiplayer servers, so I might, you know, just start up a multiplayer server and play with some of the community members and have a good time. And I might play with some of my friends, because I know that they like this map too. So there's supposedly a tornado warning. That's, that's the most I'm getting out of that. What is that? Did the wind just pick up? Oh god, I'm not getting out of this truck. Hold on. Oh my... We're in a tornado. We just intercepted a tornado. Yep, we got another very weak tornado right now. No, F zero probably. I'm so, I'm doing horrible. I'm so inconsistent. I'm saying F zero, EF zero. Oh, my brain's a mess right now. But we definitely got a very weak tornado right here. Not touching the ground all the way on the condensation funnel right there. It didn't even slide my car around when it first formed, but it did tip over a tree. Alright, I guess we can try and get a probe intercept. I was hoping to have a bit more of a stronger tornado for that, but... Oh... I'm not too worried about getting inside of this thing, but I also don't want to... Potentially... Have something happen. Um, I'm gonna put it right over here. Okay. Okay, you know what? That's the best I think we'll get it, because if I go like that, it's not gonna activate. Alright, it's coming. It's coming, and it's in the air. Damn. Another short lived one. I mean, I guess it was very weak, so I guess that makes sense, but... Well, I think that will be our last tornado for the day. Because most of the map's already... in a form of damage state, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of the power lines are down. Map's took a big beating. 
I could reset it while in the game without cleaning up the map. But uh, I guess I'll just uh, leave that for uh, next episode, I guess, to have this all rebuilt. So, yeah, that was the first episode on GMT. GMT Farmland, to be exact. We had a good few tornadoes. They were mostly weak, so not really good with the storms right now. Hopefully in the future episodes we might get some stronger ones and maybe even an F5. That would be cool. And I don't know if we'll do interceptors, because I do have one interceptor that I could use, Dom 1. But I don't know if I really want to use it considering the time period this is supposed to be set in, but we'll see. Love the realistic damage system. Um, buildings have really good destruction physics and sounds. Tornadoes are really good looking. Um, map is really well made with the layout and the textures and the modeling. And I love the fact that you have hailstorms and like uh, severe thunderstorms that can roll in and have different types of weather. Um, I still don't know where my friend here went. I didn't delete him. I don't think I did. If I did, I'll, I guess I'll put that in post. But his body's out there somewhere. He's been dead for like the past two years anyways. This was first episode of me chasing on this map. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is the part where I do whatever YouTuber does and ask you to subscribe even though you probably won't because of my name. Please, I do... I don't do FNAF. Despite what my name says, I really have not done it. Ever. I make some good stuff, so if you want to, please subscribe, like the video if you think this is good. Uh, comment what I should do with this map. Because I'm not good when it thinks I, I'm not good when it comes to thinking of ideas to do on this map, other than just chasing tornadoes in the same vehicle over and over again, doing different things. Um, this is really fun. Really enjoyed it. Hope you will too if you ever decide to hop onto this map on Gary's mod. You will need uh, the additional content like the uh, the foliage add-on and most of the other Valve games for the uh, models and textures and stuff like that, but. You know, for what it's worth, it's really good looking, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you all in the next chase, or in the next video, and whatever I post. If it's not going to be in another Doctor Who title sequence, but... Yeah. How's that video? Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.